Lily is a little girl. She lives in a small village. The village is near a big forest. The forest is dark and quiet. People say it is a magical forest. One day, Lily goes for a walk. She walks to the edge of the forest. She sees a big tree. The tree has a small door. Lily is curious. She opens the door. Inside the tree, Lily sees a tiny room. The room has a table and a chair. There is a small book on the table. The book is old and dusty. Lily picks up the book. The book has strange writing. Lily cannot read it, but she feels something. The book is warm. It glows a little. Lily puts the book in her bag. Lily goes back to her village. She tells her friend Tom about the book. Tom is excited. He wants to see the book. They sit under a tree and open the book together. Suddenly the book starts to glow more. Bright light fills the air. Lily and Tom close their eyes. When they open their eyes, they are in a new place. It is not the village. It is a magical forest. Lily and Tom look around. The magical forest is very different. The trees are tall and colorful. The flowers shine like stars. They hear strange sounds. Suddenly a rabbit hops by. But this is no ordinary rabbit. It is wearing a little hat. The rabbit stops and looks at them. Hello, says the rabbit. Lily and Tom are surprised. A talking rabbit. They cannot believe their ears. Who are you? asks Lily. I am Benny, says the rabbit. Welcome to the magical forest. Follow me. I will show you around. Lily and Tom follow Benny. They walk through the forest. They see more animals. A fox is playing a flute. A squirrel is painting a picture. A bear is reading a book. This is amazing, says Tom. How can this be real? Benny smiles. This forest is special. Everything here is magical. They walk until they reach a big shiny lake. The water is clear and blue. They see fish swimming in the lake. The fish are glowing. This is the magic lake, says Benny. It gives power to the forest, but something is wrong. The magic is fading. Lily and Tom look at the lake. It is beautiful, but they can see that the light is not as bright as before. Can we help? asks Lily. Benny nods. Yes, you can. There is a legend. Two brave children will save the forest. They will find the magic crystal. The crystal will bring back the magic. Where's the crystal? asks Tom. It is hidden deep in the forest, says Benny. But you must be careful. There are dangers ahead. Lily and Tom look at each other. They feel scared, but also excited. They want to help the forest and find the magic crystal. Lily and Tom decide to find the magic crystal. Benny gives them a map. The map shows a path through the forest. It is a long and tricky path. Be brave and stay together, says Benny. Good luck, my friends. Lily and Tom start their journey. They walk through the forest, following the map. The trees are tall and the path is narrow. They hear strange noises, but they keep going. After a while, they come to a river. The river is wide and fast. They need to cross it, but there is no bridge. How will we get across? Asks Tom. Lily looks around. She sees big rocks in the river. We can jump on the rocks, she says. They carefully jump from one rock to another. The water splashes around them. It is a little scary, but they make it to the other side. They walk deeper into the forest. The trees become thicker. It is getting darker. They hear a rustling sound. What's that? asked Tom, looking around. A small creature appears. It is a tiny, glowing fairy. The fairy flutters its wings and smiles. Hello, children, says the fairy. I am Flora. I live in this forest. I heard you are looking for the magic crystal. Yes, we are, says Lily. Can you help us? Flora nods. I can give you a gift. This is a magic flower. It will light your way in the dark. Lily takes the flower. It shines bright and warm. Thank you, Flora. Be careful, Flora says. The forest is full of surprises. 
Trust the light and you will find your way. They continue their journey. The magic flower lights their path. They feel more confident. They know they are getting closer to the magic crystal. Lily and Tom walk for hours. The forest becomes even darker. They hold the magic flower tightly. Its light keeps them safe. They follow the map. It leads them to a big hill. At the bottom of the hill, they see a cave. The entrance is small and hidden by vines. This must be the place, says Tom. The magic crystal is inside. They carefully push the vines away and enter the cave. It is cold and damp. The light from the flower shows them the way. They see strange drawings on the walls. The drawings tell a story of the magic crystal. As they go deeper, they hear a noise. It is a low growl. They stop and look around. A large shadow moves in the darkness. Who is there? calls Lily. Her voice echoes in the cave. A huge wolf steps out of the shadows. It has bright, glowing eyes. The wolf looks at them, but does not attack. Instead, it speaks. Why are you here? asks the wolf. Lily and Tom are surprised, but try to be brave. We are looking for the magic crystal, says Tom. We want to save the forest. The wolf nods slowly. I am the guardian of the crystal. Only the pure of heart can take it. Are you pure of heart? Yes, we are, says Lily. We want to help the forest and bring back the magic. The wolf looks into their eyes, then it steps aside. Follow me, it says. I will take you to the crystal. They follow the wolf deeper into the cave. At the very end, they find a small chamber. In the center of the chamber is the magic crystal. It glows with a beautiful bright light. Lily and Tom walk up to the crystal. They can feel its power. It is warm and full of life. Take the crystal, says the wolf. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Use it wisely. Lily carefully picks up the magic crystal. It feels heavy, but also full of hope. They thank the wolf and start their journey back to the magic lake. Lily and Tom hurry back through the forest. The magic crystal lights their way. They feel the magic growing stronger with each step. When they reach the magic lake, Benny is waiting for them. You found the crystal! He exclaims. Yes, we did, says Lily. Now we need to restore the magic. Benny leads them to the edge of the lake. Place the crystal in the water, he says. The lake will do the rest. Lily and Tom carefully place the magic crystal in the lake. The water starts to glow brightly. The light spreads through the water and into the forest. The trees shine, the flowers bloom, and the animals cheer. The magic is back, says Tom. Lily and Tom watch in awe as the forest comes to life. Benny smiles at them. You did it. You saved the magical forest. The talking animals gather around. Flora, the fairy, flies over and thanks them. The fox plays a joyful tune on his flute. The squirrel paints a picture of Lily and Tom as heroes. You are true friends of the forest, says the wolf. You are always welcome here. Lily and Tom feel happy and proud. They know they have done something very special. But it is time to go home. Benny shows them a secret path. This will take you back to your village, he says. Will we ever see you again? asks Lily. Yes, says Benny. The magic of the forest will always be with you. Lily and Tom wave goodbye to their new friends. They walk down the secret path. Soon they are back in their village. They look at each other and smile. They will never forget their adventure in the magical forest, and they know that the magic is always just a step away. <laughs>